Robin! Have you finished the review yet? Alfred, this one's useless. Go get me my crowbar. Hello movie fans, thanks so much for clicking on this video. I just got done watching DC's latest animated movie, Super Pets. And with DC's League of Super Pets, we follow Crypto the Super Dog after his owner Superman has been kidnapped along with the rest of the members of the Justice League. From there, Crypto will have to rely on the help of other superpowered DC pets, hoping they can save the Justice League. And that's all pretty much it without any spoilers to you guys. This will be a spoiler free review. So when it comes to DC's League of Super Pets, I've always been a fan of the idea of the Super Pets. I remember Crypto had his own animation animated show back in the day and I remember tuning into it from time to time and I just always kind of like that idea there's a Superman powered dog there's Ace the Bat Hound that was trained like Batman and has all the qualities of the Batman just in dog form I genuinely thought this would be a great idea for an animated movie and could be a lot of fun then we got voice casting announcements for Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Crypto Kevin Hart as Ace the Bat Hound they would also kind of be changing things up and actually giving Ace the Bat Hound superpowers where I'm like defeats the whole purpose of him being trained by Batman. Pairing that up with what Warner Brothers Animation did with the Scoob movie, that was a major disappointment, and these trailers were not hyping me up at all. I was fully expecting to go into this movie and not care all that much, and let me tell you, this movie is actually pretty damn good. Like, yes, DC's League of Super Pets is no Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. This is not going to go down as the best animated movie of the year. But when I tell you it is way better than I expected it to be, I'm being honest with y'all. While we can all laugh and go, what the heck did they do with the Justice League? What are these character designs? In the actual movie and the way everything plays out, this film takes full advantage of its DC world. And as a fan of DC who really wants these movies to succeed and seeing what Marvel's doing and how much they have everything planned and organized and then you go to dc and you're like i don't know when i'm gonna get justice league again i don't know when i'm gonna get all these superheroes interacting and talking together dc's league of super pets kind of fills in that hole as a dc fan where you're like this is a great superman this is actually a really fun batman oh and they're talking to each other they're interacting they're fighting together it's actually like a lot of fun to see but the biggest praise i'm gonna give dc league of super pets this movie is freaking hilarious. This movie knows exactly what it is. The ridiculous notion of a dog with Superman-like powers and it just has so much fun with it. It even makes fun of the DC world and Marvel World. There are really great, clever Easter eggs and references to other superhero movies in here that if you've just been following along with them, you're gonna laugh so hard. Cause more than a couple of times in this movie, I literally laughed out loud. I had an uncontrollable burst of laughter just cause I thought it was really funny some of the jokes they were pulling out. They even have a great amount of adult humor in here that's gonna go right over kids' heads. And I'm not talking about like inappropriate nasty stuff, I'm just like genuine adult humor that you wouldn't get as a kid is played off so well in here. The villain character also surprised me. I don't want to give too much away because there's like some great reveals about backstories and where these characters come from. But all I'll say is this villain is a guinea pig played by Kate McKinnon and she's like super funny, has a really great plan, is actually threatening. Like they make this villain character work. A lot of times in these cheesy animated movies made for kids, the villain characters are just one notes and it's mainly focused on our protagonist. But no, I found myself actually really liking this villain character. And that's not even the only character. All the super Super pets are really fun and engaging characters. Like a lot of times in these reviews, I'll mention who the standout was. All of these characters had me laughing at one point or another. If I had to give you a standout, it would be the turtle character. I just, every time this character spoke, I was just dying of laughter. The most random things will be said by her, but it is just so funny to me. And that happens with just like every character in here. Don't even get me started on Keanu Reeves' Batman. Like, oh my God, DC fans. You need to see this just for Keanu Reeves' Batman and the random Batman jokes thrown out there. It's not even all gags and goofs. There's a couple of moments in DC League of Super Pets where they get kind of real and there's a backstory involved with Ace the Bat Hound that actually is pretty sad and got me close to tears. This was really just like a fun surprise to me. I did not expect to come out liking it this much. And really because since the movie is so aware of what it is and doesn't take itself too seriously, it kind of makes fun of itself and its DC characters, there's not really like a lot to hate in here. It's kid entertainment that surpassed my expectations and will be very much enjoyed by older audiences I think because again even though I was a fan of the idea of the DC super pets I didn't think this direction for it was going to interest me or compel me at all but by the end of this movie they set up a sequel 
And your boy would definitely really want to see it, especially if they keep the same type of meta humor, it's guaranteed to just be a good time. So for DC's League of Super Pets, I'm going to give action three and a half stars. There's actually a really great amount of action thrown in here. You get all the Justice League members fighting together. It's even mixed in really well with music, but also like the final battle is also a lot of fun to watch and you get some pretty cool shots of Crypto Super Dog being a badass. Comedy in the movie, I'm going to give it four stars. I was dying of laughter in this film. It was so hilarious hilarious so clever and meta i think superhero movie fans are gonna get a really big kick out of the jokes in here drama in the movie i'll give it three stars it's kind of a simple story you see where it's going it's kind of predictable bonus points for them for adding in some of that sentimental value with ace the bad hound but it is just a simple premise by the end of the day hard in the film i'm gonna give no stars to it's a kids animated movie there's nothing in here that's gonna scare them younglings and suspense in the film i'm gonna give it two and a half stars it keeps it very jokey fun and light-hearted not a ton of suspenseful moments you're really just there to be entertained and have a good time casual fans i'm gonna give this an a plus cinephiles i'm gonna give it an a minus and critically i'm going to give it a b minus for dc's league of super pets just a fun entertaining hilarious animated movie you don't have to think too hard on it's for sure worth watching in theaters <laughs> But again, that's just my opinion on the movie. Like I said, I was not expecting to come out liking it this much. Not trying to overhype this movie. It's just an entertaining film to have a good time with. So really, if you just want to laugh really hard at some superhero jokes and bring a kid to enjoy it, this is the movie for you. Don't be forgetting to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.